Howdy Investors, Larry Alexander at HowdyInvestors.com. And today we're going to look at the eighth question from the Digital SAT. Test one, module one is from the Blue Book app and it says, what is the positive solution to the given equation? What we've got, and you can see it here, it's 55 over x plus 6 equals x. So you may start doing this. And you may say, oh, I know how to do this. i got to multiply both sides by x plus 6. That's going to get rid of it on the left. i got to distribute it on the right. Or another way to think of it is to put it over 1 across multiply set equals the same stuff. I multiply both sides by x plus 6. Cancels here. You get 55 equals x times quantity x plus 6. Then I have to distribute 55 equals x squared. Boom, boom. Plus 6x. Now some of you might be like, crap, I don't know how to do this. Something like that. A good backup is to pick numbers. So if your algebra is awesome, then you just do this algebraically. Um, quote unquote tips and tricks, they're not there to replace what you know. They're there to supplement it, to enhance it, to help you get problems correct that you would otherwise get wrong. So in this case, like if we go to our original over here, 55 over x plus 6 equals x, assuming that it's a whole number, you could say, hey, what's a possible value of x? In other words, the, the denominator right now is 6 if your x is 0, so that wouldn't work. Um, we need probably a, a factor of 55 to go on the bottom. So what goes into 55 evenly that's a little bit bigger than 6? It's 11. So if I pick an x so that the bottom of the fraction is 11, maybe it'll work out. If I, make, if I make my x 5, then I get 5 plus 6 in the bottom, which will give you the 11. And 55 over 11, sure enough, is 5. So we can tell um, just by throwing around some numbers that, that the x is going to equal 5. And honestly, that's easier than doing this algebraically, but algebraic solution is usually a go-to. If I subtract 55 from both sides, then what I wind up with is, I'm going to write it back up here, I get x squared plus 6x minus 55 equals 0. And so now to factor it, I need two numbers that are going to multiply to give you a negative 55 and add to give you a positive 6. So let's say this 55 over here, I'm going to factor it. Now my bigger number has to be positive. And what I always recommend, don't start with like 1 and 55. Usually, if you're to take the square root, it would be a little more than 7 and then work down from there. Um, and so 6 doesn't go in, 5 goes in. How many times 5 go in? It goes in 11 times. And like we said, the bigger number has got to be positive, so it's going to be negative 5, positive 11. Does that end to give you a positive 6? It does. So now we've got x minus 5 times x plus 11 equals zero and now we could set them equal to zero individually and you could add five and add five you could subtract 11 and subtract 11 cancels here you get x equals five which is what we said already you can just bubble in x equals five and here it says x equals negative 11 but notice it asks you for the positive solution so you'd have to throw that out Make sure you bubble in a positive 5 or uh, mark that as your answer, I should say. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with quadratics, doesn't know how to set them equal to 0, doesn't know how to factor them, or wouldn't think here to pick numbers. Is there any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.